My heart's like still going. I was breastfeeding Carl and then all of a sudden the whole bolt went. What are we heading to? South. Out of the cold. We're in St. Augustine. It's freezing this morning. Like 14 degrees or something. It's right. cold. And uh, we're heading down the ICW. We're gonna see how far we get today, really. Instead of heading out into the Atlantic Ocean, we opted for staying on the ICW. The wind was coming from the south, which is exactly where we wanted to go. And we would have been beating into waves and wind. The intracoastal waterway, even with lots of motoring and bridges, seemed like the better option, and as well as being more comfortable. an upgrade from us. Yeah. Yeah. Schooling for coral. No chef wild. Fall. Lighthouse. Voilier. Sailboat. Orc. Orca. It is Saturday or Sunday. Enjoying it, she looks like she's just eating the strap. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, coral. I just went real hard aground right in the middle of the channel. 
Coming into New Smyrna. Did you get out? I'm off, but I don't know if we did damage. That was so not good. I felt even the, the rudder in the sand. Ugh, I'm shaking. I should have slowed down. My heart's like still going. I was breastfeeding coral and then all of a sudden the whole boat went and just dead stop. So I just leave coral in the V-berth and run outside and we got stuck so hard on a sandbar or something. But dead Corey stop from oh like yeah. six and a half knots. I was just whew, stressful. But Corey managed to get, get us off after a while. I mean, first we checked the bills and all that and Seems like we're okay. I went and dried around the bolts just to make sure that we're gonna be fine. But oh my god, this is not the best feeling. And we're almost at the anchorage after like almost 60 miles of perfect sailing, everything. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, I'm, we're not gonna make the five o'clock open. I'm anyways. really mad at myself. I um, I was. I knew it was shallow in, in and around here. I had heard stories of people bending props and stuff and I was literally slow, about to slow down because it was just, the depth was kind of jumping around and just bam. So note to self, when you're making good time, don't screw it up by trying to speed through an inlet when there's definitely normally shoaling. I'll show you it looked really shallow over here, so I ended up going a little more to port. And I think that was my main problem. I should have stayed right on that line or even a little uh, to the starboard of the middle line. And yeah, I was still in the channel, but anyway, ran, ran aground right there and luckily was able to get off unscathed so far. But I should have been slowing down for that cut no matter what because I had heard things in the area, just lots of shoaling and stuff, but I thought it was at the entrance, not where that came in but anyway should have been more careful fingers crossed everything's okay i even felt the rudder in the sand so uh it, it didn't seem to hit the rudder from what i could tell but when i was trying to get out of the mud or the sand i could feel the rudder kind of stiffer oh, this whole craziness uh, we kind of missed the bridge opening so i just dropped the hook on the icw and we're waiting a half hour and Corey's checking the bilge and grabbing the vacuum and hopefully it's all good but oh it kind of ends the day on a bad note well did we make it oh we made it we are in new smyrna beach after 60 some nautical miles and quite the crazy end of the trip. And being back here brings back so many memories because in 2020, we spent like five weeks, over a month rebuilding our engine. And today our engine saved us. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> but uh, I think we need a drink. Just cool down, <laughs> enjoy the sunset. And oh, we made it. Yeah. Man, I'm kind of regretting not having uh, the US ACE overlay on our chart. Maybe we should get that. But anyway, I should have just slowed down. But yeah, long story short, I checked the bilge, uh, used the little shop vac to suck up all of the water. And uh, I mean, there's some suspect cracks that have been there likely for a long time. But there was one that looked like it had raised up a bit in the back, making me think the, the back had come up as possible, but it's not leaking any, any liquid. And well, I can't wait to get into clear water so I can actually take a look underneath the, the boat. But it also seems like our rudder is fine from what we can tell. It has full steering on both sides. And the, I didn't feel any jarring in the rudder when I hit ground. It was only when I was trying to get off the sandbar that I felt it a little stiff. Ah, you were so good, Coral. Thank you. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a happy baby, aren't you? <laughs> it is so calm this morning. It's just like no wind. So we're going to motor on the ICW once again. And we're going to make it probably to Cocoa Beach. 
about Port Canaveral area. Good morning. Beautiful morning. We've been wanting to watch a rocket launch ever since we sailed past Cape Canaveral three years ago. But unfortunately, every single time we missed it. They were either cancelled, postponed, or we forgot to look at it, or it just wasn't the right visibility for us to see it. Today couldn't have been any better, with great blue sky, and sailing just a few miles north of Cape Canaveral. It was the SpaceX launch of the Falcon 9 from Starlink. Everything happened so quickly, from the launch, to getting way up in the sky, and to just losing it as we get blinded by the sun. just on the ICW, but after yesterday's grounding, I'm definitely not super keen on cruising at six knots uh, in four to five feet of water. I mean, it's bouncing around, it goes up to eight feet every now and then, but yeah, I'm in the middle of the channel and we're seeing pretty low depths. I'm sure it'd be fine, but after yesterday, I'm not taking any chances, so I just slowed down the engine and we're just puttering along under sail at, uh, we're still almost going five knots, but a little better than six and a half. <laughs> Coral's real first real sail. Yeah, no motor. We're rocking it at a whole five knots. at Coca area, whatever it's called, Coca Beach, Coca Marina over there. We're gonna go see Mark and Margaret, our friends. That we met when we purchased our boat back in Canada and we last saw them in Port Canaveral for Christmas 2019. So it's been quite a while. Super excited to go see them and we're gonna have supper and some fun times. 